every day goes by and you know where it's a new year and when a new year rock and rolls and like new things happen all of a sudden the news gets slammed 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 with what a lot of breaking news <laughs> Alright, the very first thing I want to talk about right now is the Golden Globes, because the Golden Globes are this weekend. They're Sunday. Oh, wow. It's something that's it's something that's never gonna happen. Sabrina, never oh. like, like I, I thought, and like you know, it's been so long, they push things, pull things, the strikes and all this. Well, 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific time, you can sit down and watch them at the Beverly Hilton's hotel in Beverly Hills doing the Golden Globes Live. And this is gonna be on Paramount Plus. You're also gonna be able to see it on other premium, but that Paramount Plus you have to be a premium member, you have to have the uh, Showtime app as well to have that. Also on Hulu, also gonna be on Hulu Live Plus TV. YouTube TV and Fubo and also CBS app if you have CBS. So if you're excited about the Golden Globes, they're this weekend. A lot of wars. So I can't wait to talk about that on um, I guess we talk about that on, on Monday when it all comes down. So I can't wait to talk about that too. It should be fun. But Golden Globes are happening, and someone that's nominated for a lot of Golden Globes right now is Killers of the Flower Moon. That's right. Killers of the Flower Moon nominated for like a lot of things. Supporting actor, drama, motion picture, director of motion picture, action and drama, screenplay, original score, actress in a, in a drama. It's crazy. Uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff, actor and drama as well. A lot of awards it's nominated for. But now it's going to also be finally, officially, officially for free if you're an Apple TV Plus member. Officially streaming for free on January 12th. Not that far away. So you can check this out. And you can watch Oscars. And hopefully, if you love it, it does well. And people love it. Breaking news. And we can fix it. There's no way to fix it, <laughs> Richard Tracy. Once it's broken, it's done. You can't get it out of the box. Just like when something's canceled, you can't get it back. And American-born Chinese is canceled, unfortunately, people. So if you're a fan of this show, that you love this show so much, you've been watching the first season. Now, of course, it eight episodes and it was released on may 24th and everyone was thinking that did pretty well on apple tv plus they don't really release their numbers so we have no idea what's going to happen oh disney plus it was on disney plus sorry too many too many platforms but people were thinking that was going to do well and it just it just you know petered off the the options for the actors contracts just went off yesterday so once that elapsed like the actors were released from the contracts and then they said okay coming forward this is canceled at disney plus so if you love the show unfortunately uh, Kihi he Wan and uh, Michelle Yeoh are not going to be doing this anymore. So it, it's sad, but they've been trying. The thing is about when these things happen, it's like I worry about the crew, like people trying to make things happen, make their money, and just, they put so much heart and effort into it. Just like David Ayer put into the Suicide Squad, and he wanted his director's cut to come out so bad. Everybody, we talked about recently that he said that he'd been talking to James Gunn about making that happen. He'd been talking about DC, Warner Brothers, hoping it's going to happen. Well, now David Ayer said, not happening, guys. It's not happening. Even though before he said he had a breakthrough, it was going to happen. Now he says, guys, nope, done and done. Very sad. You'll be fine after a good cry, as I am. I feel healthier. It's a wound that needs to heal. And that's why he's no longer pursuing it, because he says they just don't want to do it. They don't want his cut released. And James Gunn can't save this machine. So unfortunately, it's a nothing situation. So if you were excited about the A year cut coming, which you know, when we talked about on the show, a lot of people weren't. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean it's not happening. And you know, I would I would have liked to have seen it, the Joker stuff. Why not? You know, who's asking for the A year cut? Apparently nobody, Richard Tracy, because it didn't get it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just see how it goes. So I feel bad for him. Wait, it's so long to make this happen. He got fucking canceled. His tears are crying out of his asshole. He's not getting it. But something that is happening after a long time is someone beat Tetris. And you're like, what? Somebody beat Tetris, a 13-year-old boy named Willis Gibson. He beat Tetris. And this is one of those things. This has been out there since the NES system for a long time, guys. And at that point, no one has gotten as far as the game ends. 157 levels on Tetris. The closest someone got was in 2011, they got to level, level 30. And then in 2022, someone got to level 95. Well, this guy just beat it out of the water. And they were raving about it at Nintendo. They were so excited someone actually beat the game. But then when you beat it, just like glitches out there's no ending really just glitches out because they expected no one ever to get that far in the game so petrus though kind of cool the guy got there it's pretty awesome for him you know it's a long time coming for someone to beat a game i mean from that 80s on until now just like it was a long time coming for mickey to be you know actually put on the public domain and he's out there oh that's the wrong slide sorry about that uh, john <laughs> like majors <laughs> Mickey Majors, what? Mickey, Mickey Majors, we'll get back to you, Mickey Majors. <laughs> but Mickey Mouse is out there, and he has uh, – people have been going nuts about this. Of course, talk about the Mickey Mouse uh, mouse trap out there, that horror movie. But also, like, a short film came out there. And we're going to actually maybe sit down next week with the actual director, creator of that show because we they actually reached out to us after our Wednesday show. Okay, we talk about this. But someone else put out the actual full episode of Mickey's Steamboat Willie, the very first one, and Disney had it shut down. It was demonetized. Now, he's like, what the hell? It's public domain. This make any sense i mean it was 1928 when it came out now it should be able to release the whole thing he was doing commentary this guy's a voice actor brock baker and he's also doing comedy with it too but youtube took it down so disney's still gonna fight this or by disney's gonna fight this all the way to the end because they have to at the end of the day because for them it's their big 
trademark character. They don't want Mickey to be out there murdering bitches. I, I know. But you know what? I guess, as I said, as I said on Wednesday, as I said on Wednesday, the conservatorship is done, Disney. You have to get over it. Mickey's released now. He can be whoever he wants to be. It's done. I'm sorry. He's released. He's released. But you know who's not released is John the Major. Well, he's released from his contract from Disney. Uh, John the Majors has been released from that. But John the Majors is not done. He's sitting down with Lindsey Davis of ABC News live this Monday. We have his first sit-down interview talking about his side of the story, what happened, and how he was unjustly uh, you know, accused and you know, actually tried and, and found guilty for this whole thing. So he's sitting down. They have like a little snippet of it, then have the whole actual interview come out too, streaming as a half hour special. You'll be able to check that out online too through ABC's apps, ABC New Live. They're going to put in their prime stuff. There's going to be everywhere. You're going to see this across the board starting Monday, but Good Morning America is going to show it on Monday morning. So if you are interested in the majors actually talk about this, you get a chance to do that. And then, of course, people go nuts up because, you know, when it comes to leaking stuff, everyone's always paying attention to stuff with celebrities. Just like people are talking about T.I. right now because T.I. is back in the news for what? I hate to say it. <laughs> Sexual assault allegations. Oh. You know, it just, it just, it's, it's, just like a, it's just a game. It's like him and his wife right now are being uh, accused of sexual harassment. Well, sexual rape and oh abuse and a lot but but this jane doe came forward and said she was drugged and raped by both of them in a hotel room back in 2005 and she alleges that the couple may have victimized other women as well because they had other women come there too they said though she said the wife gave her something in her drink she got loopy weird they took her back to the hotel and she blacked out but there were other women there too and so she thinks that there's more women that have been abused by them too of course they have come forward ti and so i've said for three years i guess they've been talking about this empathetically have categorically denied these allegations for three years we have been maintaining our innocence and refuse to pay these extra night uh uh these extraordinary extortionist, extortionist demands i'm gonna say extortionist that's not the word i, I fucked that up but but yeah <laughs> the ti we're gonna have to wait to find out about this we will <laughs> I mean, the ti maybe his vocabulary is better than mine is i don't know i try my best everybody but honestly at the end of the day Again, we have to wait to hear the whole court case, see what happens. If more people come forward, we'll wait to see about if TI is doing this shit again. As I always say, if you do this shit, man, fuck you. Because honestly, just be cool to people. Don't be raping bitches. Don't be doing that. And you know what? And somebody else that's very controversial in dealing with court cases and legalities and also making tons of money is J.K. Rowling. As I just want to say, she made 10 million bucks, or by 10.5 million bucks off of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child production that's out there. Now, of course, it came back after COVID, and then it's like just blasted for after that. But she's made 10 million bucks in that. So if you're wondering if you're like, well, if I go see some Harry Potter, of course, the money's still going in her pocket. She created all this. But I was surprised. 10 million bucks off of stage production? That's fucking nuts to me. But she has made good money off it. Just like Patrick Stewart made a lot of money off being Professor X. And this fool doesn't want to stop being Professor X. He really doesn't. On the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, he came forward and said, like, you know, the cameo in, in, uh, in Doctor Strange, he said, it was very unfulfilling because it was just him on a green screen. There's no actors there the whole time. So that kind of sucked. And he also said that you're going to see a lot more of him though moving forward. And he's actually been talking to Ryan Reynolds about coming to Deadpool. We already know he's coming to Deadpool 3, but he actually said, yeah, I've been talking to him about it. But all this COVID stuff he hates because he can't actually sit down with actors and work it out. But you know what? COVID times, people be scared about their health. They'd be very careful. So a lot of these mandates and these, um, and these, you know, these, these rules came forward. You'd be careful about your health. Just like Christopher Nolan, he's on his Peloton all day working out because he's worried about his health too. But he's also not expecting when he's doing his Peloton exercises to be told that his movie sucks. So that just happened because Nolan was Pelotoning away. And he's like, hey, I was on my Peloton having a high interval week week workout. And all of a sudden the person came forward and said, hey, has anyone seen uh, that Christopher Nolan movie, the one that took like three and a half hours of my life away and I can't get back? Yeah, uh, that sucked, didn't it? I want to get that life back. I can't get it back. And they're working out the whole time. He's like, what the fuck? But he says he loves critics. He says, that's fine. Uh, and it was about which movie? And well, it wasn't about Oppenheimer. It was about Tenet. So he's like, well, they apparently didn't like Tenet. Tenet is very confusing, so I understand people being confused by Tenet overall. It still kind of sucks that he had to see this while he's working. I was like, because he's in a safe space, working out on a Peloton. He wasn't in a safe space. But someone who's never in a safe space, even though they think they are, yay. And yay came forward and said, hey, guys, 2024 is the year of no pants. Let's just say it. Oh, wow. <laughs> No pants for 2024 because why the hell not? He's Kanye West. And he says his new wife looks good with no pants, so you should too. Anyways, a lot of breaking news, everybody. A lot of breaking news. <laughs> uh, I will yay pants away, I guess, you know? I guess I'll yay him away for the new year, right? 2024, yay no pants all day. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, a lot of breaking news. Thank you all for being here. Yo, player. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live.
And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.